Hello and welcome back to the Living Offset vlog. My name is David Bowles and I'm the Chief Process Officer at Living Offset. So we're going through the greenhouse gas reduction projects at the moment and we've gone through the transport sector and now I'm going to have a look at the agricultural sector. So the ag sector is very important and is seen as more difficult to mitigate emissions because of uh, all the biosystems involved. But uh, again, Living Offset will bring a mechanism or a tool for farmers to re receive a, re a revenue stream for example, we're down here now in, in, uh, close to the Dublin Wicklow border again and we have the, an example of some cattle rearing here. So in Ireland, which has a very uh, high emissions from the ag sector, by 2020 that it is estimated that one third of all national emission, emissions will come from our dairy, herd, our poultry, pork and other protein sources with population growth, 125 million new people on this planet every year, that there is going to be more protein needed. And there is the argument for everyone going vegan, but that doesn't seem to be the case at the policy point now with restrictions taken off um, quotas and all. In Ireland, that's the case anyway. So with a view to feed a growing population, but we must control the emissions. So this will join the ag sector, the food production sector directly to the man on the street, to the customer, where they'll be able to contribute to, as they offset the emissions associated with their lifestyle, that will be paired with emission reductions from the cattle sector, the dairy sector, and all the different other protein sources that we currently rely on. So take care and stay posted to the Living Offset blog to learn more about our innovative solution to climate change and reaching carbon caps and reducing emissions across, across the globe. Take care now.